Before we start, I'm in a new photography web series called Shot in the Dark. You should go give it a watch right after this. What do you do when you're helping a, I was gonna say close friend, but acquaintance shoot huh? a video in their house using a bunch of fancy lights? That's right, you steamroll the shoot and do your own video instead. We've got a whole bunch of different lights available to us, and we also have a very tall man who's currently behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see who can take the best portrait shots of our- It will be me! It will probably be Sam. I've got a little bit of experience of shooting portraits with these lights, but not a huge amount, whereas like he actually does it for a living. So EJ has offered to model for us today. He's exceptionally tall, so I think we might just get him to sit down. This is incredibly embarrassing. I will lick your hand. I'm going first without any idea how I'm gonna go about this, but we'll see what happens. We've got lots of light to play with. So, you know, anything could happen. I'm thinking. Dangerous. I'm biased and I do like my bookshelf. I spent a lot of time in this area. So I do want to get that. my idea. I do want to get that in the background. <laughs> and also it means I can plug my little TARDIS on top of the shelf, which if you've not seen my little TARDIS, you should definitely see my little... My... Is that what the kids are calling it these days? I'm going to tilt these blinds. Goodbye, cruel world. I almost want to create something a little bit moody and shoot the shadows. So I have a shirt as well. Yeah, keep that on. It's not that kind of photo shoot. Oh, no. oh is it not? I can't, I can't take this one off. Uh, ooh. Right, we're going to put some red on there so we can create a bit of a rim. So you what? Have fun using my camera, Sam. It is very cute and dinky, and I do like it. The good thing about it is, aside from a few software tweaks and 4K video, it really has the majority of the functionality of the newer models, but it costs, like, 200 quid for the body. I'm not sponsored by the Sony A6000. But I wish we were. But I wish we were. I want you to look towards where my bonsai tree is. That's kind of like your point of focus, all right? So I'm just going to take this as a test for the cotton. Now I like that because we're shooting. Oh, that's on best. I want to shoot into the shadows there, which is working out what we want to do with the light and the sort of the bouncing around the room. You've got like the red bed that's bouncing off EJ's arm, which looks quite nice, but I think we need a little bit more of it. So I might bring this round. Can I have the purple one, please? Look at the creases in it. <laughs> right. I think despite having this lovely big mushroom with us, me, I'm actually going to go without it for the time being. I'm going to keep us at f2.8 just for some separation. And take us into 50 there. I think you want to hit us with a bit of a pose now. Something a bit more casual, but just a little bit stoic. So like, yeah, bit of a lean on your leg. Just look towards this way for me. And then look towards that way. It's an eye test. No, <laughs> <laughs> just say that. And can you read the uh, smallest row of letters for me? <laughs> what is it doing that, Tom? I don't know, what are you doing? I don't know, it's just, it's, it's, it's. Have you broken my camera? No. no. Still not keen, still not keen. It's your face, EJ, I'm sorry. That's the one. Mmm. This time, you are going to look straight into the camera for me. A bit brooding, head tilted down. You're going to sort of look to me through the top of your eye, eye line, almost into your eyebrows for me. I know what I'm saying. Okay. Brooding straight into the lens for me. In three, two, one. All your Christmas presents gone. <laughs> you know what, sod it, we actually are going to use the TARDIS. <laughs> if we just give it a moment, if we just let it get through its fanfare, it will flash on its own without doing all this. It'd be nice if the camera actually focused on the TARDIS. It's a perception filter. Try not to knock that, because that will set the cycle of sounds off again. I want you to hold it in your hand and out like that, as if it's yours. You have to get Doctor Who into everything, don't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. We are going to bring this back now. Oh, yes. <laughs> the sofa's there, Tom. Found the couch. No, 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 don't do that. 
such a kick up. I used to be really uptight as a kid when it came to my Doctor Who merch, and people used to come around to my house and they'd move things on my shelf and I would throw a tantrum. Like, a tantrum. But obviously I'm not that kind of kid anymore, and I can deal with this. It doesn't bother me, but you know, for the sake of the background. Up and out for me like that, a bit of like a, a gla not a glazed look, but like an inquisitive look. Can you raise one eyebrow? That's it. <laughs> Keeps focusing on the TARDIS now. Okay. 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 Happy? Photography wise, yeah. Does that mean it's biting? It does. So Sam went first, so now I know what not to do. That's not true, he's a very competent photographer. EJ! Hello. I wanted to utilize the bookshelf and then Sam went, oh, I want to use my bookshelf. So I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in a slightly different way. Let's shift this chair. So it's kind of directly in front of the bookshelf. I don't know how this is gonna look on that camera, but we'll hopefully be able to see it on that camera. Give it a swizzle, give it a swizzle. So your back is to the, and then shuffle this way. Shuffle this way, shuffle this way. And then bring it back this way a little bit. And I'm just gonna use the lighting that's currently here and then make a couple of additions myself. So I'm gonna bring my little light in and we're gonna try and create a good bit of contrast on one side of EJ's face. So we'll keep these as kind of lighting the backdrop. I hope this still has battery. It's probably gonna be quite a wide photo. Call me fat. I would never. That doesn't look how I hoped it would. I'm just getting warmed up. Don't, nobody panic. Kind of turn your head so it's a little more straight on and then look kind of straight down the lens for me. I'm gonna try bringing this round a little more. You're in my shot, Sam! <laughs> Tilt your head forward a little bit and then look up. You look like you're a bit sad that it's not what we wanted. Eyes kind of up that way, a bit of a somber look on your face, quite serious looking. There we go. It kind of looks like an author's photo on the back of a novel. We'll do one of these for you when you finish your book, Sam. What do you think? Oh, you know you don't pay me to think. That looks really nice, that. Okay, we're gonna try, we'll try something else. How close can I get before it gets really uncomfortable? Oh, I'm gonna fall. Should we shift, shift the chair back to where it was? I'm gonna do something adventurous. I'm gonna ask you to stand up. Hello, EJ. <laughs> Let's turn this up a little bit. Let's get you stood sort of here, and then I'm gonna improvise. You're very well liked in my chest and crotch. That was the aim? Okay, so I'm quite liking this kind of harsh contrast that we've had going on. Right <laughs> you don't need eyes. Okay, just keep looking that way for me. Stop looking directly at the light. What is wrong with you? Let's try directly behind. Where am I looking? Right, I want you to look straight at me. It's a little bright. That's a little dark. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. I'm used to using natural light. The backlight is not working. I'm just gonna pull it over here. We have a slight problem in that you're very tall. <laughs> Could you, yeah. <laughs> this is just like a really simple headshot of a really simple man. Um. <laughs> I'll try this once more without the purple because it kind of makes him look like he's got some eyeshadow on. Try and get this a little higher up. To see if we can get a bit of, ooh, hello, there's a the ceiling. See if we can get a little bit of shadow Going on under chin, like that. I'm gonna try something adventurous, you ready? Uh-oh. I want you to do your best attempt at a smolder. A smolder? Here comes the smolder. How would you describe a smolder, Sam? Uh, I don't know, it sounds like something I'd go see my GP about. People smoldering. <laughs> He's I'm gonna find good. a lot of pictures of spontaneous combustion. It's like a sexy kind of, hello there. Hello there. Just do a duck face. Just do a go full duck face. There you go, perfect, beautiful. Yeah, let's go with that, wonderful. We're done, that's it, we're solved. Can I make a suggestion? You are welcome to make a suggestion. What if he's facing the other way around, so he mm. does a 180 and he's looking over the shoulder? We can try that, yeah. Take a little... Fling a shirt over my shoulder. It's, if you want to spling a shirt over your shoulder, you be my guest. Would you like your shirt? Sleep deprived photographers <laughs> is not... Good. It's not, good, it's not good for the industry. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a shame that we haven't kind of got a better backdrop to work with at this point. What are you saying about my living room? Nothing, it's lovely.
It's now several months later, which is why I look like a homeless mop. That was just a fun little experiment in playing around with lighting with no real plan or agenda and seeing what we could come up with. Mostly though, it was just a bit of an excuse for mucking about. I think Sam got a bit more adventurous than I did, especially with the colours. I think I probably played it a little bit too safe. I think I'll probably try and revisit this soon, but with a bit more of a plan. But we had a laugh, so it's all that matters, really. If you'd like to see more nonsense like this, over on Sam's channel is the first episode of a brand new web series that we're in called Shot in the Dark, which is about venturing into the murky waters of nighttime street photography. I can also promise a lot of mucking about. Here's a little trailer of what to expect. If you want a promis filter, you steal a pair of your mum's tights and put it over your camera lens. I haven't done this for nearly two years. The last time I went out to do nighttime street photography was December 2022. You don't need film, you just need a crappy old lens that costs 30 quid off eBay. We'll just try and get some of the trees in the left third. No one knows how this is going to turn out, but I'm optimistic all the same. Do you know what we need to find? A toilet. <laughs> well, uh, don't put that in. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Hello. What's the weather like up there, EJ? Cloudy. Ah, I think we're probably going to get him to sit down because this is a, a little. I can't get up high to get those flattering angles. We'll just. I can get down. <laughs> right, go on, get off your stool.